Hello there, guys. I might as well um, inform you of this information. The level crossing at Ralston has failed. Um, the, that light over there came on, but this one didn't. That light there is broken. So, any second now, I've not called anybody, but if you look here, um, you see that 2 kilo 41 from Lincoln to Peterborough is stuck with a red signal, and the crossing should be down for it. The crossing light, that light over there did come on, that one didn't come on. We've done exactly the same thing as um, Blankney did back in October or September time. But I haven't called anybody, but I presume any second that we'll have um, a visit from the response unit. Uh, let's have a look down the track and see if there's any trains up the line. Yes, the train is stuck up there. This crossing has failed. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the, the train is stuck up at that signal. So any second, we should have a visit from the response unit. you will put the crossing down manually, because I came down here, um, there's my dogs there, I came down here with my dogs, and that light was working. But I don't have a clue what's happened. It's just all I know is that light doesn't work. But the train is stuck halfway in between here and Scottwick. Well, probably three quarters of the way in between here and Scottwick. But I'll stay back over here. Or I'm actually, I might as well go and stand over here. Just in case that must go off. I'm gonna get Adam on. I'm gonna see if Adam. I can't actually. I've only got uh, 22%. Adam will be home, I think, but I can't call them at anybody at the moment. I haven't got any battery power. So, depend, depends what happens. If the train gets cancelled, look on to RTT tonight and and um, and you might say this train was cancelled due to the problems with a level crossing. Usually it's probably because um, a wire drops out or something, or the bulbs lights, the light shields packed up. If it has, it happened at Metheringham, but they didn't put a new light border on. They put a, they didn't put a new wigwag on. They put um, the wire further down. The train's still there. The cables look okay. Um, train is stuck down there. I'll come stand over here. It's any second now, I presume we'll have a network rail unit come down. I'll come trying to fix the crossing. Freight chain will have to stop up the line that way. It shouldn't be that far away anyway. Um, on the diagram, the train is still here. And if we look up the line a bit, where's the freight? The freight is stuck at Sleaford. But we should have a response unit any time soon. Coming from Lincoln or wherever the closest depot is.
as you can see the crossing is still up and if you look over there there's a freight train approaching which is going to have to stop so I can focus the camera freight train the freight train is just over there and the crossing is still broken so I've been off I've I, um, switched off the first part um, about 10 15 minutes ago and now the network rail guys are still not here and now there's a freight train approaching the signal this is going to put delays on the 1641 Eastman's train service from Lincoln to Peterborough. No, 1634 Eastman's train service from Lincoln to Peterborough, 2 kilo 41, and the um, 1644 um, 6 Zulu, 4 Zulu 33 Great British Rail Freight service from Felixstowe to Doncaster. So we've got freight train one end and Eastman's trains the other end. So now we're still waiting for the network rail guys to show up, the response unit. So they can see properly what the problem is. The train is still approaching the signal. The time we are now on is 15.53, Tuesday the 5th of July 2016. And the freight train is still stuck up, stuck at signal 7115, waiting for the crossing to shut, which won't be very unlikely. And the um, 2 kilo 41 Lincoln Peterborough is stuck at signal 7116, and the freight train is now currently running 20 minutes late. And the passenger train is currently running, what time did it leave? Oh no, the, um, passenger, the, the passenger train is running 20 minutes late, and the freight train is running um, 10 minutes late. I can hear a horn from somewhere, but for now we're still stuck, and I will um, cut this part off. I'll cut this turn, and I'll see you in the next part. Then, I'm not sure this is the passenger train or not, but there's a there's a random horn coming from the from our left, and it it will still be the passenger train stuck up plat, uh, signal seven one one six. I presume we'll have some very 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 bored passengers. Yep, that's the um, passenger train horning. So we'll have to wait and see what happens next. We're still stuck up. Freight train is still stuck at signal 7117. You're right. <coughs> Shush. Pardon? Yes, thank you. The crossing's failed. Yep, yeah, the crossing's <coughs> failed. Hang on. Um, one of these, the crossing's not working. So there's a train that way and stuck at that top signal, there's a train stuck there as well. Right. Yeah, so I'm filming this whole thing so I can get it on camera. Oh, yeah. Load it. Yeah. I've been on for only a few. So what happened then now? Does somebody have to come out here? I presume that... Shush up, dogs. I presume that the response units will come out, like the network rail guys. Yeah. Yeah, the passenger train stuck over, um, just over there and the freight train stuck there. Oh, yeah, because that light, th this light doesn't work. Right. Because that, when because when I got down here, the lights were all everything was okay. Yeah. And um, before I got a chance to start filming, that went off, but that one didn't. Right. Yes. Yeah, so we basically just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. Hmm. Nina, my sister said you're on holiday, are you now? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm off for the summer. Oh yeah, because I've been sitting down there with my dogs. <laughs> yeah. I had them everywhere. <laughs> all right. So how long have you got off then? Um, till September. Okay, how are you enjoying your, your... Yeah, I am. University you're at? No, I'm at college. College? Yeah. To do with... Um, I'm on catering at the moment. Yeah? Yeah. Enjoying it? I am, yes. Good. It's been really good. It's only good? Yeah, I don't, don't know why, but they, usually they should be here by now. Mm. They probably still don't know about it. Do you reckon they do know about it? I don't know, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, they should know something about it. Yeah, you would think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. So where he's st stopped, that yeah. will be showing red, will it, that signal? Yes, it will. Yeah. For some reason, the, the diagram hasn't showed the freight train on, but the other way it has. Right. This is the diagram for this line. Yeah. And um, that's Scottwick, Ralston, that's the train stuck there, but it still says that that train stuck at Sleaford. Oh, right. It's not. So, at the moment, that train's still not um, still not reported to be around here. It should, oh. it should have that there. 
we're at number is right, down. Right, yeah. But um, we don't have a clue what's going on. Okay. I think that all the cross other crossings are working, but this one's failed. Oh, I know. It's been pretty good, up, you know, for a long time, I thought. Yeah, it's been I here for... I thought we were doing good. Yeah, it's been here for two years, hasn't it? Is it really? Yeah, because this used to be Gates. Yes, crikey, two years. Yeah. But usually these come up running, these come racing through about seventy miles an hour, don't they? They do, they do yes. Yeah. They pass through Digby as well, but I don't. I only hear them from um, my garden. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Hmm? All right, nice to have a word with you, Joe. Yeah, well, I'll see so you again. Probably, I was going to say you'll probably be down here a bit more then. Um, this should only be on for today. Right. I don't know what's happened. It's just probably a fault. Yeah. Crossings aren't very well known to fail, but yeah. this is the one of the first that's happened. Bye bye. So, if anything else strikes up, if I hear anything strange, if net, when soon as network rail, here, hang on, here they are. Network rail have shown up. Right, network rail are here. Yep. Here's your network rail, guys. We've got a car coming from the other end. Yeah, so problem should hopefully be sorted very, very soon. And it real guys, I've just got out of the van and they're waiting to see what's actually happened to this crossing. Stand in the corner just in case they happen to test it, because there is a broken light. I remember, because I remember what happened. If they asked me, what, if they asked me what happened, I'll tell them exactly what happened. What I saw. Shush, Ivy. I better stick with Ivy. She's still a pup. She's not used to coming up here. I knew they'd come at some point. I wish there was a bit more of a further standing space so you can get the full crossing in. Because right now, after leaning against this silver fence, so I'll come and stand in this corner. So I can get a good shot of the crossing. Ivy, be quiet. Come here. Right, they're just, just stay. I'm going to test the pedestals. Then they're going to test the crossing first. Make sure you put it down or something. Ivy, be quiet. That's what I saw in the in Unipart Rail when I went. Pedestals, a bit ready to be maintained with the keys in them. But I think they're going to test the crossing first. I think this is actually what put level crossings down. Last time they did this, they actually forgot which key they to use. Here we go. Now you can see this light's working and that one's not. Right, this is the main problem. That light's working, and this one isn't. This is exactly what happened at Blankney. And it goes up again, up they go. Now they know that the crossing barriers work, it's just this light that doesn't work. Ivy. Go 
kill sit still. I think they're going to let the trains through. This light was working when I came down here. It just happened. It failed on 2 kilo 41. I don't know what it is, I think it's just MCBOD crossings that actually do this. Blankley did it once, and they had to um, move the wire and have it going into the ground. They might have to put a new head on it, a new wig, a new light put on, I don't know. I'll we'll see and wait and see, I'll be back again. I'll come back again later in the week and see what, if this has actually changed. It's only Tuesday, I might come back tomorrow, I'm not sure. A few rattled passengers on 2 kilo 41 today. It might be letting the train through first. emergency pedestal is used for. It's clearly said in the description on my Unipart video. Shush. I think it's still stuck up there. So I've now caught this at Blankney and here. Ivy, shut up. Oi. 
stop it. <coughs> Ivy, come here. Ooh, be quiet. Be quiet. Okay. Let's pick the dog up now. She won't stop barking, will you? Hey. One thing we need to teach this dog is to stop barking at everything. I think the freight train signalled. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's coming. This is exactly the same thing that what happened at um, Blankney. I think it's about to. Yep, we're moving. We are moving. We have. Get down, Ivy. Good girl. Thank you. Six, six seven, sixty four. Ivy, no. What do you know? Six seven sixty four running. You're heavily delayed. It's fifteen forty four. Four Zulu thirty three. Great British Rail Freight Service from Felixstowe North to Doncaster. And I'm sure they'll put it back up now unless they let them up. They go. Did it? All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. So it must be. So would it? Where would it have changed points at then? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. There is a point. Like points, isn't there? And um, yeah. Must we must have rattled up a few passengers. Yes. Yeah. I got yeah. I got stuck on a train for four hours last month because the pantograph on the um on the nine on the electric ninety one struck the cables near Torworth and Ranskill, which oh, is just yeah. outside of Retford. Yeah. I was on my way to York. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Are you here until it's finished then, or are you um? Yeah, well, look, we've got this gentleman, he's uh, more capable than me. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, Behave. Which way Behave. Which one's down? Ah. Is it, oh, is it that, um, is it the Bow Depot Heck Plasma one? The, um, EWS one? Oh, I haven't got a clue. Oh. No, no. They are, you can see them there. Oh, yeah, that's the, um, Bow Depot Heck Plasma. Right. Mm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure Let me check the signals. Um, no, we're still on red. I actually, funnily enough, found a pillow in um, Belton Garden Centre, exactly the same face as Honey. Yeah, I've got yeah. some pictures of that. All the characters. Yeah. They're, they're, uh... There it is. Oh, yeah. That's good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very good. Yeah, I've only got 18%. Um, plus, I got a card as well for my dad for Father's Day with exactly the same face right. on it. I've, yeah. I didn't take a picture of that, but I took a picture of that. Right. Yeah, yeah. I tried to get a picture of Honey next to it, but she kept running away. Right. 
which was the sad thing. Yeah. <laughs> For how long? Another ten or so minutes? Uh, five minutes or so, yeah. Mm. yeah. When he stopped, I'll... And I'll play the part when it comes back again, but for now, still broken. See if I'm still zoomed in. How many times have you been called out for something like this? Not very many, you don't, you don't get many of them. They're, they're mm. pretty reliable, aren't they, Tim? Oh, oh god, yeah. We need to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it happened at Metheringham, that's the only time I've only known this happen. Right. I was lucky to come down here today because I've, I've, I didn't come down here until last last month. This barrier has been crashing the floor since um, last way last year. All oh, right. Yeah, I've, um, I've been I've been I've been thinking of whether to call in about that. But so I'm as you here I'm because um, that barrier hit the floor back in 2014. But this one literally thumps the ground. Surprise! It, surprise! It hasn't broke the skirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because usually what um, Metheringham does it as well. Right. Really bad. The uh, signalling technicians who. They'll, they'll be here shortly. Yeah. They uh, they have a series of tests to do that. Yeah. And that's where they find things like that. Oh yeah. But the barriers are quite flexible. They are quite good. Yeah. yeah. They're quite. They blow about in the wheat in the in yes, the breeze do. a bit, don't they? they do. yeah. yeah. But funnily enough, the other crossings in between here and Sleaford and Spalding, apart from Burtley Fen, they don't hit the floor. It's just the ones I know around here that do. Yeah. 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 Them up, mm. It worked very well when it was first done, but then it started to get a bit older. Then it started to come down really fast, yeah. and then it hit the floor really hard. A couple of times I caught this crossing actually come down really, really slow, and then come back up again, and then go back down. Yeah, that can happen. They call that the emergency sequence. That, that can, uh, if, if the equipment has detected what it thinks is an obstacle, oh. it can do that. Mm. Probably don't know what that was. So that's, the, that's the lenses there. Right? Yeah, they call them they call them dialects, don't they? Yes. Mm. Yeah. But my friend said they called. Um, oh, I forgot what he's. My friend said they were called actually. Uh, well, the lidar unit. Yeah, lidar. So that's exactly what they're called. LIDAR yeah, lidars. And the radar is in that tic tac. Yeah, because on the newer MCBOD crossings, the thing the 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 um thing that covers them lifts up. All oh, right. That like, makes a really real funny squeaking noise, yeah, and they just lift right, up. Yeah. It, yeah. That's getting done here. Is it? Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. Because um, the older ones do that as well. I'm surprised these ones didn't. Yeah, yeah, well, I am. I was here. <laughs> I started yeah. the only re I started YouTubing as soon as this was actually finished, but um, I was thinking to myself, what should I do while this crossing's about? Because if it wasn't for this crossing being done, I wouldn't have started. Right. But um, this crossing, like, as I, as I was um, local to me, I, my, I just started filming because... You know... There we go, that's about to leave now. Yeah, this crossing has um, made me start properly filming. Yeah. And yeah. because I was here, most of this being built, right. I was here when the old gates were in and I saw them actually take the gates out of the ground. Right. Yeah. Here, we come, here comes the Bow Depot Heck Plasma train. Let's get my phone back out and check what this is actually for because I haven't checked yet. Honey, do not bark. So you're running 20, 11 minutes late. 66.074. Was there no more passenger trains running today then? Yeah. That's the Bichon Frise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does. 66074 running your, um, your delayed 1611 for 491 uniform, EWS service and Bowtepper to Heck Plasma. And. Manually raised. Up they go. Yeah. Right. I'm 
going to cut this one short actually um, when I've explained something. The guys here said that this crossing is due to be fixed anytime soon because the network rail guys are going to, I think there's another vehicle coming soon to actually fix this, properly fix this level crossing light. But now we're down for our, uh, uh, I think we might be on, yes, uh, probably, I don't know if we might be on time for 1622, 2K to 56 is Mons train service in Peterborough, Lincoln, or your 1622, 2K to 45 is Mons train service Newark to Peterborough. Did it come down? I can hear the line vibrating. Yeah, Newark Peterborough. Link, no. Peterborough, Lincoln. Is the Newark Peterborough on? It is. Yeah, it's running through Metheringham. Ten minutes late. Honey, no. Honey, no. One five three three seven four. Three seven four to um, Lincoln. Shush. And I don't know whether we're staying for the Peterborough. So, um, the Peterborough is stopped at seven one one seven. One five three three seven nine. <laughs> three seven nine to Peterborough by Sleep and Spalding. And nice way from the conductor there. They go. Lights out, one of them anyway. As you can see now, we have another network rail van arrived to have a look at what's happened to this crossing. I was speaking, had a really, really long conversation with that other guy who was here. He told me that it could be like a rat or um, a rodent's chewed a cable somewhere along on the, on the line down there somewhere. All of that actually generally failed because they've, he's told me that he serves. He, but he's told me that he's served a few crossings around Lincolnshire. He's um, based in Lincoln. He comes from Sleaford, and he also deals with lights that have been hit by lorries. He, the, he's known that happened at three crossings, which was happened at Kirkby Laythorpe level crossing on Mount Lane when it was halogen. Happened at. Um, uh, I forgot the other ones were now. It was Gold Great Hale drove number one, which was that really big crossing. And it also happened at Waynefleet Bypass. But that's still kind of bent, actually. And the crossings that he's dealt with that um, barriers got knocked off was Old Lake, which is on the Skeggy Knots line. Um, and the other crossing he said, it's only happened to him, he's only done that twice. Uh, the one was Deeping St James level crossing, which is on, in between Folly Bank and Spalding. Peter and Spalding. Hang on, the network road guy. They've gone into. They're going into the cubicle now over there to check on the check if there's because that's the main kiosk where they actually test the crossings. But that light's still broken. But hopefully, I'm going to be here for the whole maintenance of this of this light being fixed.
So I'll be I'll be stood over on this spot over here waiting to see what happens. Like this. As you can see now they are actually in the cubicle. I'll come and stand here. They're in there right now. Opening in that Ralston box in the kiosk. To make sure that it's nothing technical in that box stopping that light from working. They're just checking for technical difficulties at the moment. No LEDs are broken. Could be a fuse. Shush, Ivy. Shush. Hang on, let me stand with Ivy because I'll comfort it then. Okay, good girl. Could be a technical difficulty, or it could be a fuse, or it could be a broken, it could be a wire, or it could be knackered. I don't know. Because that light was definitely working when I came down here earlier. Pity that I missed the closure. If you know, because I'd have filmed it from the distance if I'd have known that was, this was going to happen. Which unfortunately you don't because you can't see in the future. So. It's like how these lights are two years old, but they should live way longer than that. Paladins can last from 1980s up to uh, 2010 or. Last one I know was, was a graded from Black Backs was. Um, on uh, 2015 actually those crossings on the Peter Lincoln line have still got black backs and they must have been there since the late eight, since the late, nine, late 1900s and these lights only lasted this one only lasted two years without breaking which is not good they're still supplying the kiosk and that guy there has got a box for something to do with the te technology I presume but um, I don't know when the light, well, they're going to maintain the light, check on the light, but I'll be here. I'm really waiting for that happen to already to happen. What time have I been here since? Time now is um, 6, 17.01, and I've been here since um, about, I've been here for nearly three hours or something, actually. It was, shush, Ivy. The time I got here was about half past three, and it's already five o'clock now. Opening a box now. I don't know what's in it. Mad Bijon. They might be putting the crossing back down again because they've opened up the trap, the pedestal. Sure what they're doing now, but they've opened the pedestal up again. They might be putting the crossing back down to test it. There we go. Oh, it's working. Here we go. They might have had a technical problem in the box. Right, that's working. Not sure if it's done or not, but hopefully, I don't know how they did it, but they must have had a problem in the te in the kiosk. So now our light is working again. Um, another thing the guy pointed out to me is they could have um, had a there must have been a fuse or inside the inside the kiosk a switch that could have been a switch off or something. But they might be just testing it. Fall back. Good girl, Ivy. Sit still. Dotty. Good girl. Goodness. Here we go. They're just testing it. So there we have it, guys. So had a light difficult we had a light technical problem on this crossing today i came down here this morning um this afternoon about half three o'clock ish and he's now phoning somebody um yeah the cross this, this light was working when i got here earlier but when i but second closure for the 
attempt of the 2K41, that light came on. Oh, there we go again, it's going off again. We're we testing it again or something. I'm not sure. What time are we on it? So, well, on Tuesday, aren't we? 17.10. I also pointed out to the guy, as, you, as it's already said in this video, that this barrier does hit the floor really hard. So, so we're not just testing again. I presume anyway. Up they go. Yeah, it could have been a switch difficulty in the box. A fuse, a trip, or a rodent. I'll end the video here, and if it goes off again, play it again and I'll also tell you if, it, if it's done as well. I've now just been informed that this crossing is now fixed. It was due to some faulty mechanisms in the in the cabin as they call it but it's called the kiosk or the supply unit. So we are now finished. I've been here throughout the whole thing. I've given you updates of how it's worked and the and the um, crossing is now back in the network where guys are all leaving. So I thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I've had some good conversations with the network road guys here, telling me about what's about a lot, telling me a lot about what they've had to maintain and all this. Our next closure here, which I, don't, I doubt I'll be here, for, I might be here for it. It's 17:19 now, so another 10 or so minutes until next closure. Then my dad comes. So, the crossing closure will not be added to this video, by the way. I thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.